people who are behind making the um making everything um i got to work on how the wires were connected how but all of them all of them had to be made correctly okay because if you for some reason you cut in the insulation then that wire is exposed Actually, um, I did. There was um, a 3D model, but I actually was starting to like move it around and stuff. I didn't like really work on it. It was just like moving it around. Uh, with the uh, with the scroll wheel clipped down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I do something. No, it's all right. Um. Yeah. So look at this. You actually feel it click and then you can scroll. Oh, double click? Yeah. Oh, I got how to do this. I got how to do this now. Do a kick flip. <coughs> I don't. I don't know how to do that. Yeah, I actually did help them move something. I helped them move something, but I sadly did not get to drop the whole thing. <laughs> basically measure it um, to make sure that the part that was made matches the drawing. Cameron, how you doing, buddy? Good to meet you. Uh, good to meet you. So this is where we do all of our testing for engineering, right? So let's kind of take a look at all the stuff that these guys need in order to build the vehicle. So you, you remember seeing that sheet um, that they showed you? It had the lines. Uh, Rojo showed you. It's got the lines on it. Yeah. technicians go to service it, you can go into the technician menu and they enter a pin code and then it gives them all the options to be able to modify. Pin. Um, you can turn on all the lights, so it gives you a wide array of all the lights that are on the vehicle. It was surprisingly very, very simple. All I had to do was just, if I can remember this straightly, all I had to do was just press a button to get to another button and then it just happened. 